Time now for ABC4 News Sports. After a disastrous road trip, losing five straight games, the Utah Jazz returning home to the Viv tonight, desperate for a W against the LA Lakers. The Jazz getting a big boost to the lineup as well, with Bogey and Daniel House both coming back. The Lakers coming into this game shorthanded, missing both LeBron and AD. Bogey picking up right where he left off, gets in the paint and knocks down that turnaround J. Mitchell dropping 10 in the first half. Good look there for three. Nails it. Look at this play from Rudy Gobert. Conley with the lob and the big guy throws it down hard. He had 25 uh, points. Clarkson doing what he does best. Gets the floater there. Then a great pass from Mitchell here. Nap time for the Lakers. Bogey with the easy two. Then it's Mitchell again walking into the three ball. That's good. He led Utah with 29. Jazz leads 66-55 at the break. Second half, Jazz in transition. Bogey finding Clarkson in the corner. He knocks it down. 19 for Clarkson. Jazz up by 12. Lazy pass from the Lakers. House stealing it. And in his first game, back to big jam there. Then once again, Mitchell crosses over. Looks like his ankle's just fine. Looking good on that one. A huge slam for Spida. The Jazz winning this one. 122-109, Jazz snapping their five-game losing streak. Coming off its first loss of the season, Real Salt Lake kicking off the first leg of the Rocky Mountain Cup on Saturday at the Colorado Rapids. RSL winning the cup last year, but they are dealing with some serious injuries right now. Head coach Pablo Masteroni says that's no excuse. Unfortunately, our opponents uh, don't care who's available. They're, they have a job to do, and so the onus is on us um, You know, with the next guy stepping up and and making sure that he's prepared, and more importantly, that he's in the right mindset to be able to contribute. You know, whether he's got one game under his belt or he's, you know, he's making his debut. The um, injuries report, it's not going uh, uh, our way, you know. But I mean, what we showed, uh, I would say, um, this month, that anyone can replace anyone. That that we have the depth in the roster. Moving out of college gymnastics for the University of Utah looking to qualify for Saturday's regional finals. All they had to do was finish in the top two of their regional tonight in Seattle. Red Rock starting on the floor. Grace McCallum with the nice tumbling pass. 9.9 .9 for her. Utes with a 49.3 on the floor. Moving on to the vault now. Alexia Birch with the routine. Sticks it. That's a 9.95. .9 Utah with the 49.325 on that event. Then... We're going to the bars where Birch putting up another 9.95. And here's Miley O'Keefe. A small step there, but still a 9.9. 49.475 for the Red Rocks. They lead by 0.25 after the third rotation, ending on the beam. And that's right where they wanted as the number one team in the country. And they came up clutch. Four youths with 9.95s. Here's Crystal Issa. Nice tumbling pass, and she sticks that landing. Utah wins the regional with a final score of 197.8. They will be moving on to the regional final on Saturday. So as the youths continue their season, Emily, sorry to say that Utah State, SUU, and BYU all competing earlier in their regionals. They are not going ah. on to the second day. I was hoping for good news, but when you say sorry <laughs> to say, I know nothing good is coming. All right, thank you so much, Glenn. Good work.